Try to bring everything right down right here, right here in the present moment, right here with the breath. It's a really good place to see things. You want to see things going on in the body, the breath is a good place to be. You want to see things going on in the mind, the breath is a good place to be as well, because they're all very close right here. So you want to establish yourself here as continually as you can. Because all too often we see little bits and snatches of things, and then we go running off someplace else. We don't see anything all the way clear through. That's why we don't understand what's going on in the mind. And particularly, this is why there's so much ignorance in the mind around what we're doing that's causing suffering, because we don't see the connection between the cause and the effect. But if you stay here continually, you begin to see the connections. Oh, this comes from that, and that comes from this. And when you see the connections, then you're much more likely to be to understand, okay, what you can do to stop suffering so much. You have more motivation to drop the causes, because so many times the causes of suffering are things that we actually like. So first you have to see the connection, and then secondly you have to put the mind in a good place where it's willing to admit its mistakes. If it's hungry and tired, it's not going to admit anything at all. That's why we rest the mind with the breath, to get it in the right mood. Okay, Then it can watch what's going on and admit to itself, oh, I've been doing this, and I like doing it, but I'm beginning to see that it's not the sort of thing that I really want to do anymore. That puts you in a much better place to figure out alternatives. So staying right here has lots of advantages. And the more you stay here, the more you see them. So as soon as you see yourself slipping off, just come right back, come right back, come right back right here. Because otherwise what's left to the mind is a lot of ignorance and a lot of suffering that comes from that ignorance. I know a lot of people say, I don't have any suffering in my life, but when you compare a mind with no defilements with a mind that's running around all ignorant, it's like night and day. You have to practice in order to see how good it can really get in here in the mind. So give the breath some time. You've given time to all kinds of other things. Now give your own breath some time and see the rewards that it will repay you with.